guys, Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Welcome to a very delayed garden tour. This was supposed to happen in June. It is now July, near the end of July. So, oops, but I wanted to show you some stuff that is happening in my garden and show you the garden I've started over at my mom's at her request. So here I had a tomato and a parsley which I pulled the tomato up because it was just barely starting to set fruit and it's nearly the end of tomato season I need to get my fall garden in the ground and then the parsley I decided to move because this entire area is now planted with carrots um, I need to water it obviously it's really dry so I'll get that today and then this this tomato plant's putting out some good good sized fruit here. They're all going crazy and falling over. My bell pepper, my rainbow bell pepper, is doing really well, but it fell over. I like how streaked it is before it's uh, all the way. Um, Turned. There's some more green ones. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this tomato. Can you see this? That thing is big. Looks like I've got mostly one type of tomato. My green beans seem to be doing all right. This one is a volunteer. Seeds got dropped and some of them fell in the yard. So, it's a nice size green bean right there. I'll lay that there so I'll remember to pick green beans. Here's some more. These are all bush beans. This tomato completely fell over and I didn't bother to pick it back up. So it's kind of letting it do its thing. It's got some huge tomatoes on it. it seems to really like this spot. Oh, spider web. There's a really big one right here and that, that sucker's huge. This one's also falling over. Obviously these little tomato cages aren't working all that well. This one, I'm not seeing a ton of fruit on it. So I might just pull this one up and use the space for something else. My favorite part of the yard, all the butterflies and the bees love this bush. I never can remember the name of it. And here around the front, we have the sage, which is doing super well. Some more of the little stuffing peppers, and these are actually turning orange. They're not yellow. And they're really small, but they're delicious. Basil, it's way too hot for basil these days. And it doesn't like being in the hot, hot sun. Next time I'll plant it in the shade. And look at this. This is a banana pepper that is turning peach color. Never seen that before. And another stuffing pepper there. The Russian, purple Russian tomatoes, they didn't do well at all. They died and I pulled them up. And then the big basil plants that I had along the edge here, I pulled up. And that's what this dead stuff is. I just left it there. And then these tomatoes are doing really well. You can see there's some good size fruit here. I got a few ripe cherry tomatoes that I didn't see earlier. Or rather, one ripe one. So I'll be eating that. Mm. I don't really care for tomatoes, but. It's kind of nice to pick a tomato and just eat it. It's kind of neat. And here I've got way too many tomatoes for... I don't know. Everything's falling over. I haven't tied anything up. So, that's what we've got going on here. Look at that. They're all the way up at the top. I need to top these off so they'll quit growing up. They're putting out a lot of fruit. 
I'm, I'm really happy with it, except for this one here. <coughs> that something was eating on it. I might cut that part off and see if the rest of it's any good. But, I don't know. And then when I was trying to get to it, I plucked a green one. Oops. So, that's my little tiny garden tour here. Now on to my mom's. See, last time I was over here, this big pile of leaves, I raked it all off and loosened up the soil. And then, of course, I put the leaves back and then it came back, so. I hope you enjoyed that little tour and the little vlogging on my mom's. She asked me if I wanted to do a garden at her house and I was like, I, yeah. So we walked around and talked about the different places we could do what and I ended up starting with an already existing raised bed against the front of the house and uh, just planted some peas to kind of amend the soil because the pH was just slightly below 8 or right at 8. So way too alkaline for most stuff. It's also very clay. Um, it does have some sand in it, but it is pretty heavy clay. So um, I did my best to, you know, without investing any financial financials into it, to just go ahead and get the, the soil ready for next year planting. So we'll see what the peas do if they grow at all. I'm not watering, I'm not doing anything, I just planted them and I'll go back and check periodically and see what's what. Um, but as far as that goes, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today and I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please check out the links down in the show notes below if you'd like to support what I'm doing in this dream of creating a homestead from absolutely nothing. Um, please check out the links in the show notes down below, um, Amazon wish list, especially. I have on there all the things that I need in order to be a homesteader, a homesteader and preserve all my own food, uh, a few garden tools and canning stuff, things like that. So, um, if you would like to support the show, I would really appreciate that. And if not, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me again today. And I will see you next time. Bye.